see this phrase where it says God created man in his image. Then it says male and female created he them. Two times in Genesis, Jesus repeats it in Matthew. And Father, Son, Holy Spirit, anytime God mentions something three times specifically, he drew a very specific line. And anytime God draws a specific line and says, I'm dividing two things very specifically, the devil always attacks that line. Because anything God that God has deemed to be separate, the devil's going to say, oh yeah, we'll watch this and try to... And we've just got to be careful we don't get caught up in what the culture's pushing. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, increasingly young men are acting more and more effeminate, young ladies more masculine. Yes. And I'm not talking about uh, having written a book. I like what you said. This is 21 tenets of biblical masculinity. Yes. This isn't Jerry Ross's rant about what I like or don't like, yeah. my personal feelings it's about biblical. it. It's biblical. It's biblical. That, and, and that's very important. Yes. And, and our, our guys have to be biblically based, biblically sound. And I'm seeing that. I know you and I have talked about it. It's, it's, our, it's our theme for the week. I, I am so tired of not just young men, but older guys that just, uh, whenever you bring up the Bible, they're like, well, why did you have to ruin our conversation? You know, right, I mean, right, right. I thought we were doing all right, and then you had to uh, back it up with the Bible. Right, right. Well, I'm finding that um, because a lot of us weren't backing up our life with the Bible, right. our young people aren't. Yes, yeah. And then right. now, so they're filling up mm -hmm. the the neo churches. Right, right. And that's that's a valid point because you know we want to make sure that what we believe about masculinity, femininity, or anything is absolute Bible, absolutely yes. Bible based.